like to take a look today at uh, one of my favorite songs. It's called I Can't Wait. It was written by Pat Cherry and originally recorded by the Pat Cherry Group on their album uh, entitled The Pat Cherry Group in 1975. I was fortunate enough to find some sheet music for the song and it's written in C. So the progression in the verse is a C, F, G. However, that's a, a bit limiting to do what they're doing on the album, and uh, I believe they're using a capo pretty far up the neck. So to get uh, still in the key of C using a capo, but uh, using a different set of chord shapes with the capo on five, we can use a G, C, D progression. So I tested that theory against the album and realized that I was about a half step above them, so I went capo down to four, and that matched up pretty well with what they're doing on the album. So I guess that puts us uh, in the key of B rather than C, but again, that sounds pretty close to what they're doing. So let's start with the intro. I'll call out the chord shapes relative to the capo. So we're going to start on an A minor relative to the capo, which really would be a C sharp minor. I'm going to finger pick this, but you can use a flat pick if you'd like and, uh, and kind of take a little bit of liberty here, but I'm picking a pattern where I use the uh, thumb on the fifth string, pointer on the third string, which gives you an octave, and then simultaneously my middle and ring on strings one and two, back to the pointer. So it sounds like this. So to me, the, the intro has a bit of a mystic, uh, far away sound, uh, which builds into a very uh, a major key, a very happy song, which uh, we, when we pick up on the G progression in, in a few minutes. But uh, the intro does an A minor with a G, A minor. Then to an E sustain, Back to the A minor, G, A minor, F, G, A minor, F, G, then a D sustain, so we have our pinky finger down, lift the pinky, Now we're ready for the verse, and then that puts us on the G chord. So let's uh, go back and do the intro a little bit slower, and again I'm using uh, my finger pick pattern. I'm not much of a vocalist, but I'll try to give you uh, enough of the lyrics here to give you a flavor. Just as the lightning comes from the east, flashes even through the wind. Again, let's let's back up a little bit. So, on the, once we went to the D, uh, I'm starting out uh, with my pinky down to get the D sustained, and I am playing strings one, two, and three, and then hitting the bass note on five. Then I'm playing strings two, three, four instead of one, two, three, and the bass note. We keep hammering that bass note. So you're alternating between strings one, two, three, bass, two, three, four, bass. Bass always on five here. So let's do that uh, somewhat slower. Drop your pinky. Add the pinky back. Drop your middle. Add it back. 
So that's, uh, that's lesson number one, and uh, I'll come back and do the verse in just a moment.